My name is Charlie Van Newkirk, and here today I'm going to tell you about one of the most favorite things I've done in Rome this far. We went on a food tour in Trastevere last week, and let me just tell you, it was amazing. If you don't believe me just by telling you, let me just show you. After booking the tour on the roaming website, we started off by meeting with our tour guide, Fran. She was just the best, and we headed over to our first stop in Trastevere. This is where here, our guide broke down the itinerary. Uh, with this one, I always recommend you kind of eat in the same order I described, because I'll kind of go through the history of each thing, why it's special, as well as the ways of pairing everything. So of course, you're welcome to eat in whatever speed and order you like with that one, but it's just recommended. We got to meet other members on the tour and learn how to properly cheers the Italian way. To start, we had burrata paired with oil, tomatoes, and seasonings. And let me just say, we were off to a great start. To follow, we then had a plate full of crunch. Here, there was a lovely piece of bruschetta that is a staple to every meal. Bread with olive oil, even though it is simple, the oil has a richness to its taste. Fried zucchini flour and also some fried sage. This plate was definitely one of my favorites due to its diversity in taste and in flavor. Also to mention, Fran was not only just a great guide, but also a great host, as she'd refill our glass when they looked even a little bit low. For our last dish at our first spot was an eggplant parmesan. It was the perfect dish to combine all the different flavors we had before. As we headed over to our next spot, you couldn't help but enjoy the walk. Trastevere is one of my favorite neighborhoods here in Rome, and you can't blame me. The cobblestone streets mixed with the picturesque greenery, this is the perfect spot for a food tour. For our second stop, we went to Ascenza Wine Bar. Here, we got a variety of meats and cheeses paired with red wine. Fran then educated us on wine labels and the importance of understanding those. The other thing we're gonna take a look at here is the wine label, so these guys right here on the neck of the bottle. Uh, so there's three layers of labels that you can have here in Italy. Uh, these are just quality assurance labels. So first one would be IGT. IGT label means that it comes from one of these bigger regions, and it can be a blend of grapes or one type of grape, but it's only from that region only. Our spread here was so unique in flavor, but paired so well. Here, I labeled all the different types of meats and cheeses we had. My favorite was the truffle, whereas my friend Logan was a little bit more adventurous than I was and tried the gorgonzola cheese with dark chocolate. Let's just say she was pleasantly surprised by the taste. After we finished up here, we headed to our third place. We're here, we could choose between red or white wine, and we could also choose what type of pasta we wanted. Our options were carbonara, amatriciana, and caccia e pepe. There is no wrong answer here when choosing between these three, as you can see. When we left the restaurant, you could see one of the employees preparing ravioli in the window, which was a neat touch to the experience. Last, but certainly not least, was gelato, of course. This was the perfect touch to end the tour. We each got two flavors, and I picked out hazelnut and coconut. As you can tell after this tour, our stomachs were definitely full, but so were our hearts. I got a lot more than just tastings on this tour. Between learning more about the Italian culture, getting to walk around such a beautiful neighborhood such as Trastevere, and getting to meet with people one-on-one, -on -one, this was an experience you could not pass up. Within just a few clicks down below, you can end up on the roaming website and book this tour as well to take part in this experience. Ciao!